ladies and gentlemen, I hope this video looks so much better. I'm beyond ridiculously excited because Display Recorder was finally updated for iOS 8.1, and that means you can now not only see my taps, but everything will be a lot more smoother. Sure, it'll lag here and there. That's what with all Display Recorders. There's not much I could do about that, but hopefully the videos will improve, and now I can make more, more videos faster because this thing is so much easier. I won't have to record the audio separately and all that other stuff. Let's just go ahead and talk about it. So I always give Display Recorder a review because it is my favorite tweak and without the tweak I would not be able to make like the 800 or so videos that I've made in the past on this channel. So that's why I always give it a review and a nice little shout out. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So first of all, this is a Cydia tweak. So you need to go into Cydia and add, well, you don't need to add a repo. It's just well, inside of one of the default repos. And it's made by our good old developer, R. Petrich. So first off, you guys go ahead and set up an activator gesture to go ahead and, well, start and stop recording. So what I have is a simple swipe on my status bar. And if I swipe right or left, it will either A, start recording or B, stop recording. You can, of course, change it to something like a triple tap or you can change it to where you put a five finger pinch on your screen. I don't know, whatever you guys want. And uh, swipes just are really easy. Now, depending on what device you have, you want to mess around with the frame rate and, of course, the video format and quality. Quality. So of course if you, have, if you have a better device which can run a lot more, maybe an iPad or 2, an iPhone 6 Plus, put the frame rate up pretty nice and high. Not too high, then it doesn't work well with editing programs. Right here where I have it right in the middle, that's good for maybe an iPad Air or uh, A7 processor along those lines. Rotation, you want to keep it on current, that way you don't accidentally record a video in landscape when you are actually in portrait on your iPad or iPod. Mode is pre-calculated, which works much better. If you want better video quality and you're trying to record gameplay, then go ahead and set it to QuickTime. However, if you're trying to go into a lot of applications at once, uh, then you want pre-calculated, that way this thing can change it, change based on whatever application you're in. Video format is of course H.264, you guys probably don't know what that means. But it's basically um, the file that this will save in, and you can go ahead and save this to your camera. Uh, and of course, you can either A, post it to YouTube directly from there, or you can copy it onto your computer, and of course, go ahead and edit it like I do. You can also have it so your mic is recorded at the same time. I don't mind the iPad Air's mic, and uh, depending on what type of tweak video it is, if I know that a lot of people are going to watch it and like it, then I'll probably go ahead and do a separate voiceover. But if I know that it's just for this handful of people like this video, I know that most of you guys don't need this. But if it is, then I'll probably just go ahead and use the iPad Air's mic. Video quality, of course, you want to keep it as high as possible. This is something you should probably test out. Literally go through all of them and see which one seems to work the best for you with the le least amount of lag. So maybe like record a 10 second clip and see how it looks and uh, so on and so forth. You want OpenGL capture on, otherwise you basically can't capture any gameplay. So of course the main reason that you guys would get this, I know most of you guys don't have a YouTube channel, but the main reason is of course if you want to record yourself doing gameplay and either want to post it on, I don't know, your Xbox, uh, send it to a friend, or even maybe you are going to post it on YouTube. So that's why you guys would need this. And uh, this works much better than all the other screen recorders that I told you, which is why you guys should jailbreak. If you're not jailbroken, I'll leave a link in the description below, which will allow you to get uh, this, basically somewhat of this, without a jailbreak. It's a different, different application, but same concept. Here, of course, you get to show your tabs. This is really important for me since I'm doing tutorials and stuff. And uh, you can either have that hidden, as you can see, it won't disappear just yet, but if I were to say I record another video, it would be gone. I can also have it so it's always, so maybe you want to get this tweak simply so you could have this giant thing floating around on your screen. So that would be pretty interesting, but uh, personally that would just annoy the heck out of me. There's also tap size, as you can see they went pretty in depth. Um, I'm not sure what the large one looks like, um, I can't test it out right now. But yeah, they're small, medium, large, I keep it on medium. Then finally, there's activation methods, and I already explained that. So that's Display Recorder in a bunch for you guys. Yes, there is a little bit more to Display Recorder than I mentioned in this video, but feel free to go ahead and test it out on your own. In any case, a lot of effort goes into putting up these videos just about every single day, so if you guys enjoyed it or it helped you out in any way, feel free to leave a like, and don't forget to go ahead and follow me on Twitter, which is at IonTechCentral, and you can go ahead and comment what you currently used to record your screen. Thank you for watching, this is going to be me, Locking.